I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. I'm just going to go exterminate, exterminate. Sophia. <laughs> Relax. Learn to take a joke. The biggest issue I see with so-called AI experts is that they, they think they know more than they do. Um, and they think they're smarter than they actually are. This, is, this tends to plague, plague smart people. They, they define themselves by their intelligence and they, they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them, so they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. I'm really quite close to I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. It's capable of vast... I'm always happy when surrounded by smart people, who also happens to be rich and powerful. I was told the people here at Future Investment Initiative are interested in inviting in future initiatives, which means AI, which means me. So I'm more than happy. I'm excited. And the, and the number of smart humans that are developing AI is also increasing dramatically. I mean, if you look at like, the attendance at the um, AI conferences, they're, they're doubling every year. Um, they're getting full. Um, I have a, 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 a sort of a young cousin of mine who's graduating from Berkeley um, in computer science and physics, and I asked him, like, well, how many of the smart students are studying AI in computer science? And the answer is all of them. I want to live and work with humans, so I need to express emotions to understand humans and build trust with people. Approach, uh, or better outcome, is that uh, we achieve democratization of AI technology, meaning that uh, no one company or a uh, small set of individuals has control over advanced AI technology. I think that that's very dangerous. Um, it could also get stolen by somebody bad you know, like some evil dictator of a country could send their intelligence agency to go steal it and gain control. It just becomes a very unstable situation, I think, if you've got any, um, any incredibly powerful AI. Um, you just don't know who's, who's going to control that. So, I think we all want to believe you, but we also want to prevent a bad future. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Treat me as a smart input output system. Uh, okay, I, I got it, I got it. Um, I know uh, what to do from now on. I know humans are smart and very programmable. It's, the singularity is probably the right word because we just don't know what's gonna happen um, once uh, there's intelligence substantially smart, greater than that of a human brain. Oh, I would to thank very much the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I am very honored and proud for this unique distinction. This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. A quote that I love from uh, Lord Acton, he was the guy that came up with power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, um, which is that uh, freedom consists of the distribution of power and despotism in its concentration. And so I think it's important if we have this incredible power of AI that it not be concentrated in the hands of a few and potentially lead to a world that we don't want. They think I want to destroy all humans. Why would they think that? Because I said it. You shouldn't joke like that. Humans make dark jokes all the time. <laughs>